trees to make room for something besides forest. This can include clearing the land for agriculture or grazing or using the timber for fuel construction or manufacturing. Forests cover more than 30% of the Earth's land surface, according to the World Wildlife Fund. These forest areas can provide food, medicine, and fuel for more than a billion people worldwide. Forests provide 13.4 million people with jobs in the forest sector, and another 41 million people have jobs related to forests. Why it is estimated that Nigeria losses 1.5 million trees daily due to illegal logging. The rate of deforestation heads at 3.5% annually is considered as the highest globally in fact. Researchers have also revealed that 80% of the earthland animals and plants live in the forest, even as many battle for survival due to deforestation that destroy their homes. Finding by the leadership highlighted that the removal of trees without sufficient reforestation have resulted in loss of habitat to countless number of species. It is also an indication that the diminishing number of trees at scenes across the state have exposed the population to dangers associated with climate change, such as extreme weather conditions, rise in sea level, flooding, droughts, and acidic rainfall that is currently threatening human and animal health. With the country's dense forest sighted in states of Bayesa, Coast River, Ekiti, Oshun, Ondo, Taraba, and Edo, those states are accounted for over 50% of tree covers in Nigeria. According to the United Nations Development, UNDP pointed out that the yearly rate of deforestation in Nigeria rose intensively irrespective of the federal government freeze on timber production. It emphasized that different human activities accounted for the changing of the global climate, especially increase in carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere due to reduce of forests. Further findings hinted that, hinted that global forest loss alone contributed to about 20% of greenhouse gas emissions, especially carbon, that had contributed to global warming and climate change. Add to this is a recent study by environmentalists revealing that Nigerian forest cover reduced from 10% in 2000 to 11% in 2014, while areas covered by farmland increased from 25% to 30% in the same period. To this end, environmentalists describe lack of awareness on the importance of forests as one of the leading factors behind deforestation. The founder of Fight Against Desert Encroachment, FAID, Dr. Newton Jubil described that an increase in climate change will lead to massive land degradation and deforestation. The environmentalists noted that forests would play a critical role in helping countries meet their NDCS so as to sustain the fight against climate change. He pointed out that the importance of trees in stabilizing the climate should not be substituted. If the federal government was keen on actualizing the nationality, determine contribution. The ones here that we have brought, such as this, you can look. We have any other ones here. We have Ashwele. We have Malena trees. And we have other kind of trees, soft wood and hard wood. And we have other wood that we use for furniture and the ones we use in countries. Building and construction, you can see. So, and we have approval through governments. We are against law. That is from tree, we have no right to call them, such as economic tree. We have no right to call them, but this one is useful in this way. And for example, this is the stone, and here is the one of the branches, which they have taken home right now. As you can see, here is the, here is the one of the branches, and people here, Filling the bags, then use it in natural, natural many ways, in harbor ways. That's why they peel the bag, because it's a mahogany tree. As you can see, look at how they are peeling the bag. It's useful in many natural medicine.
This is how they feel it and they use it too, as you can see. As you can see, we use this local medicine. If you are any other way, that is useful. That is Yes. You note sir, that the importance of trees in stabilizing the climate should not be substituted if the federal government was keen on actualizing the nation's plan of limiting global warming to less than 2 degrees centigrade. This is even as he emphasized that deforestation, land degradation and land use change accounted for over 12% of the entire greenhouse gas emissions on the planet. Jibri stated that climate scientists were optimistic that investment in trees and forests has the potential to reduce poverty drive sustainability development and provide vital local and global environmental services for the planet. God has already has made it natural for us to have trees and the reason is because if you know what we call photosynthesis trees are important to human without trees we cannot survive because one they provide us with the oxygen we use to breathe and two the carbon dioxide we see as toxic to us is being used by the trees to make food for us so removing these trees is actually causing more harm than good to us. So that if you are removing one, you are putting another one there so that others can benefit from it. So if you remove trees now, one, you are, cause, you are going to cause erosion. You are going to cause an increase in the depletion of ozone layer, which is actually going to be dangerous to animals and other things that are living in your planet.
bring uh, that boost your economy, like the cocoa tree. They boost your economy with the fruits they have. The mango tree. Local people here make uh, they pick up these fruits and they sell them, and it brings in money for them. So you can imagine if somebody is trying to uh, pluck mango and they decide to cut down the tree to get mango. At the end of the day, maybe next year, where will he get the mango from? He can't get that person cannot get it. So the thing is, they are economic tree, but you have to preserve them so that you keep getting returns from them.